this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I could not be more very, very excited tonight. I'm going for overall win, 1,140. I freaking love Loco Mocos almost as much as I do horseshoes in Central Illinois, and of course, Parmos in Northeast England. Well, today, I am gonna be dominating about six pounds of this Loco Moco Burrito Challenge along with three softball sized scoops of macaroni salad, all homemade here. We are all here at Ina Grill here in Waipahu, which is a suburb to the west of Honolulu on the island of Oahu. I'm hoping to become just the fourth person out of very many attempts to dominate their six pound Loco Moco Burrito Challenge. Now, I've only got 30 minutes to just shut up and eat. Inside these two large burrito tortillas, We've got three pounds of Hawaiian fried rice. And then on top of all that inside the burrito, there are five quarter pound Hawaiian beef hamburger patties. Uh, a loco moco, if you don't know already, which you should, you're missing out, is basically rice topped with a hamburger patty, topped with a fried egg, and then loaded with a whole bunch of homemade brown gravy. This thing is gonna be very salty, but delicious. So on top of this burrito, it's served wet pretty much. We've got four sunny side up or over easy eggs, and then we've got four ladles of their homemade brown gravy, along with two or three ladles of their homemade cheese sauce. So along with that, we've got some fried onions, and then we've got some scallions, I think, uh, green onions. Along with all this, this is like five pounds. This is about at one pound of the macaroni salad. So 30 minutes, if I fail, it's gonna be $45. But if I do win, I will get my entire Loco Moco burrito meal for free. I will get a sweet t-shirt, and it is a sweet t-shirt. And I will be the fourth person with my name and photo up on the Wall of Fame here at Ina Grill in Waipahu. Let's get this challenge started. All right, lots of people here, cannot disappoint. Big thank you to everybody here with Ina Grill for having me in. Hoping to become the fourth winner, our friend Raina Huang. She's got the record, which is nine minutes and 20 seconds. I love Loco Mocos, so I don't think I'm gonna try to rush it too much. I'm just gonna enjoy this thing, but still aggressively get it done. One, two, three, boom. All right, macaroni salad. I've already had a whole bunch today for lunch, so we'll see how this compares. Oh yeah, that is good, that is creamy. All right, now this burrito barely closed. It actually didn't really close. It's kind of just wrapped around. So we're just gonna do our best and try to be clean. Now I understand why Raina wore gloves. I'm barely even in. A lot of people ask if I've ever done a challenge where I wish I could go back and just eat it normally. Definitely this one. This is so good. Burritos and Loco Mocos, great combination. Oh yeah, apparently grinding in Hawaii means yeah. eating. But yeah, ooh, with that bite, I just got a whole bunch of egg yolk. And then this cheese sauce is fantastic too. Great food so far. And there's healthy vegetables. With this rice, there's all three red, yellow, and green bell peppers. The fried onions on top are great too. I only really have those when I have green bean casserole. There's so much Hawaiian rice here. I'm gonna be ready to do a lot of hiking tomorrow. Four minutes and 50 seconds in. And I do apologize, I keep meaning to start the video with aloha and I always forget. Oh. This one I'm gonna end with mahalo, which means thank you. The brown gravy, the cheese, the creaminess of this macaroni salad, this challenge is awesome. 
I'm breaking up the egg yolks as I uh, do all this. This is so good. And Ina Grill has been around three years. They opened just before COVID started. And uh, the challenge has been around for all three. Over 40 people have tried, I think. Only three winners so far. The frickin' rice all over Hawaii is delicious. This is my first time having Hawaii fried rice. This is awesome. Ten minutes, five seconds in. This is patty number five oh, of the hamburger patties. Hamburger wow. One thing I'm for sure of, Katina and I still haven't had Leonard's Malasadas yet. I think we've got room to go buy one of their food trucks tonight. Not eating any more paper. We've got just a little bit of macaroni salad left. Is it mac salad or macaroni salad? Mac salad, yeah, mac salad, okay. Ah, oh, we got it. I cannot say enough about how delicious that entire challenge was from start to end. All three pounds of that Hawaiian fried rice was so good. Thankfully, there was only two large uh, flour tortillas, so I was able to focus on all the rest. But it's not the record. Great job to Rainer for finishing in 920. That is fast, but it is the number two time. There are two women up on the Wall of Fame, one male, now there are two. 16 minutes and 24 seconds. Big thank you to everybody with I'm a Grill here in Waipahu to the west of Honolulu. That was such a delicious challenge. They've got so much other good food on the menu. A lot of the people here got some food to try and I got to check it all out. It looked incredible. So even if you don't want to try the challenge, get here anyway and try some of their other food. But one of the owners is about to hand me my sweet t-shirt. I am very proud to be wearing this. This is a legit sweet t-shirt and I'm not just talking about the logo on the front. We also have on the back, which is really cool. I think it's a wrestling guy dominating this Loco Moco Burrito Challenge just like I did. So yeah, thank you guys all for being here. For me, it was overall victory number 1,140. I've got a ramen challenge coming up next in a couple days before Katina and I head to Australia. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, or as they do say here in Hawaii, mahalo. And if you did like this video, I'm sure you're gonna like this one too. So check it out and win before you begin. Thanks for watching.